Hi everyone, it's Carolyn, and I'm here to share another channeled message from the Light Keepers, a group of angelic beings who I channel on a regular basis. Now, for those of you who are new and have not seen my videos before, and you're wondering, what is she doing? Who does she channel? What is this? Um, you can go to my YouTube page, and actually there's a welcome video that will give you a summary of how I ended up even channeling this group called the Light Keepers, rather than spend time doing that today. So again, it's under my name, Carolyn Zeiser, and you are welcome to go ahead and take a look at that video and learn a little bit more about what I do. So um, with that today, I have a channel on um, what I call, and I usually try to give one or two words for it, um, family and friends. <laughs> and um, during this spiritual awakening, and how to kind of deal with all that. And I thought it was fascinating. And then I'll give you my takeaways and my um, journey. And then you can think about it for yourself. And again, thank you for watching. So with that, here is the channel. We ask of you this day to be available to others as they grow throughout this lifetime. Others, your family, your friends, your community, as they work to live this life. They are not of the same understanding as you are, dear ones. You are gaining knowledge and wisdom along your journey. Sharing with those you love and care for is the best way for you to be. How, you ask, might I share with those who have no understanding? Regardless of where you are on your path, you have much to offer. The offering is not of moving them into full understanding of awakening, for this is a process that must naturally occur within each individual throughout humanity. What then, you ask, can I do to help? Through your knowledge and wisdom, you know that love is all there is. Love, patience, kindness for all who are in this lifetime and along with you on this journey at this time in humankind. Prepare yourself for loving understanding, for guidance that you can offer to others in the way of patience, meaningful words, and kind listening. In being one with them, step back from the role you have always played. Put yourself in the role of the observer. Remove yourself from the emotion that you may have always felt with those you love and who care for you. Watch their behavior, watch their accent, actions and un with understanding, knowing that you were there too, for it is not your role to help them awaken, and for that matter, even help them understand. But instead, it is for you to provide as a beautiful example of humankind, a loving, caring kind empathic being who is traveling this journey with them. Allow yourself to step back and out of the human way of being when you are around your loved ones, your friends, your community, and watch and share and care in knowing what they are struggling with, in knowing what they are going through, in knowing that they are living in the shadows of understanding. For you are not, dear ones, you are not. For it is enough that you are with them because you understand. Judgment does not enter your mindset. You know you understand what they are going through. You were like this before the Great Awakening. For if you judge, if, for if you judge them and where they are in their journey, you are judging yourself. For you, dear ones, were there too. Therefore, live your days in love and light, empathy, caring, and kindness for your fellow being who is traveling the same journey. We wish you blessings in light and love forevermore, the Light Keepers. So, there's your channel. And as I started thinking about this, I thought, wow, this really mirrors my journey. And some of you may have experienced this too, where in your early stages of your journey, like me, which just really started two years ago for me, um, as far as just understanding I was on the journey and getting signs and messages. And then all of a sudden I wanted to share everything with everyone. And I did that a couple of times and honestly, <laughs> it just went bleh. And I, people just looked at me cross-eyed like I was kind of loony. And so I picked up on that pretty quickly. And through the journey of the last couple years, I've realized that less is better and or less is more. And that rather than saying to people, Oh, I'm going through a spiritual awakening and here's all these amazing things that have happened to me. You know, they're not going to have any context for that at all, especially if they're not going through awakening. And what's happened with me is so many people have asked me, you know, what am I doing now for a living? Because I quit my kind of big time corporate job 
um, during my Dark Night of the Soul and had this blank slate and started up my healing business. I'd never been involved in anything like this before. So, of course, they're asking me about what I'm doing now. And I've really had to find my way to be able to express myself in a way that allows people that are going through this or even that are maybe going through this but have just started to still be able to relate to me without them just being, you know, um, put off or thinking, oh, you know, she's on this journey that I don't understand at all and I think she's kind of fallen off the deep end. So I didn't want that to happen. So, and we all choose to do what we do. But my point is, is I really wanted to be able to influence people in a way that just offered them me, the presence of me, and my new energy without words. And I can talk a lot. And <laughs> so I thought, wow, I need to step back, let them enter my space with questions, and then find a gentle way of talking about what I actually do now. And I have done that through trials of, um, I would say, things that don't work, and then through really understanding that I don't need to tell my whole story all at once. Just drop in a little bit here and there, and then they can, you know, kind of journey on their own or think about it on their own. And with family, that was another thing. I'm really lucky because my family, my mom and my sister, just kind of accepted this, but have had a lot of questions, but haven't said, oh, well, we don't understand this at all and kind of exiled me. Um, so I've been fortunate in that category, but at the same time, there's a lot that I haven't talked about because at the, it, it's just too much information for them to put their to wrap their heads around. And you all know what I'm talking about as you continue to explore with this journey. There's a lot of information that comes to you that's available to you, and we're all at different stages. So that, you know, happens along the way. But I have just decided that less is more, and that it's more about me being around other people and actually sharing my joy and my light and my kindness and my happiness. And not looking at other people as, well, you don't get it, so I'm not going to associate with you. Because that can kind of happen. You can kind of get to that point where it's like, you know, you're feeling so high vibe and you just want to be around people that are of that vibration. And I think that's important. But at the same time, we're here to influence others, everybody else, everybody outside our door. It doesn't mean you have to go do something different, but it's just by being available and being in their presence. And I have seen this actually happen with neighbors and a lot with children, which is fascinating. I have a tendency now to just like attract little kids in my way, but I think it's because they're so innocent and they still have that, like I have an eight and 10 year old neighbor, boy and girl, who like kind of just want to be around me and are now coming over and giving me gifts. And it's just so cute, but I know it's because they feel my energy and Animals are the same way, but when we think about people and those who are in our family and our friends, I have learned the less is more and yet sharing a little bit here and there. One last thing, and then I'll stop talking, is what I've also realized is, this isn't the case with everybody, but a lot of people, are, I made this mistake early on thinking that everybody who was like psychic or had some kind of um, sixth sense gift that they were using was also awakened. Nope, that's not the case. They may just have come in with that gift but not know anything really about spiritual awakening. And that's a whole separate journey, which I thought was so interesting. And maybe some of you have comments on that and what you've experienced. But I've made mistakes of just letting it all fly with people that I thought just because they were mediums or I don't know, name it, had some kind of sixth sense going on that they were understanding of spiritual awakening. That is so not the case. Now, I'm not saying don't go talk to everybody. I mean, if you want to go blah to everybody, great. But I'm just saying, I think we have more impact when we use our um, great joy and vibration in a way that is like little bits and pieces of it. So 
<laughs> anyway, I hope you've gotten something from this video today and that you enjoy sharing your journey with others in a way that is useful for you and useful for them. And one last thing before I leave you today is I am now offering channeled sessions, not just the healing sessions that I used to do in my business, Purple Rain Healing. Um, so the channeled sessions are essentially you asking some questions that you want to learn about. And that is another offering that I have on my website, purplerainhealing.com. And if you don't have a healing need, then that's perfect for you. So I just wanted to mention that today that I am offering that as of now. Again, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.